Well, here we are with another Lost Media video and yeah, it sure enough has been a long long time since I've done a list out video like this. You guys love these Lost Media list videos that I create and they're quite fun for me to make as well so why don't we just jump in and start not wasting any more time. Welcome to 3 Interesting Pieces of Lost Media. How the Hamsters Saved Winter was a straight to DVD film which had featured the hamsters from the Hamster Dance song which I'm pretty sure a lot of people may be familiar with. This is a really obscure and unknown movie that had been listed for sale and released onto the Hamster Dance website on April 2nd 2009. To buy this film you had to click on a link and order it through the site Kanaki. This DVD was available to purchase for quite a long time actually, being as late as 2012. However, clicking on the link now and attempt to purchase this film, you will be directed to a page that says product not available. This movie had been actually made and finished, as confirmed in an article from 2018, where the owner and creator of the hamster dance, Bill Porfido, confirmed roughly 2000 copies of the film were sold, which I find really strange considering no clips, trailers, screenshots or even audio of this film actually exist. All we have is just a DVD cover. We don't have any information on who directed or starred in this movie, but we do know that it was produced by Abertus International, animated by a company in New Jersey, and had the DVD cover designed by Asbury Arts. In a Lost Media video I did quite a while ago where I looked at different Lost Video games, I had a look through a Lost build of the unreleased Virtual Boy game called GoldenEye 007, a Virtual Boy game which was meant to release alongside with a Nintendo 64 version of GoldenEye. Now this game was just one of the many unreleased and Lost Virtual Boy games that was meant to release for the Virtual Boy, and by many I mean a lot of games. I know there may be some of you that might be unaware or unsure with what the Virtual Boy is. Well, the Virtual Boy is one of Nintendo's most severe critical and commercial failures, with this console only selling just under a million units before being discontinued. And of course, with the console being discontinued so incredibly early, so many different games which were planned to be released for this console had been left unreleased and cancelled. I am not going to be looking through all of the lost unreleased Virtual Boy games or we will definitely be here for a very long time. I'll just be going through a few which I find pretty cool. This is a game which was set to release December of 1995, but of course was left unreleased due to the Virtual Boy getting discontinued. This was a tactical war simulator in which you had to protect a city from numerous missiles while occasionally fighting a large battleship. During the end of the game, the antagonist sent an enormous warship as the final boss. A prototype of this game is known to exist, as well as three screenshots of this game being available online. Very very little information of this game exists, and the prototype hasn't been leaked anywhere. A 2D platformer Mario game was set to be released onto the Virtual Boy, but was cancelled for reasons which are pretty obvious by now. This Mario Land game had the first level shown off at CES 1995, and from looking at some available gameplay we have, this game seemed to be quite unique, with it featuring top down view dungeons in a similar manner to The Legend of Zelda. From looking through some in game artwork, Wario would have been the antagonist. A Power Rangers game was set to release for the Virtual Boy in the winter of 1996. Unlike the games I had talked about before, almost nothing is known about this game at all, with the only evidence of this game maybe existing being from a listing in Nintendo Power. It's unknown if this game ever begun development or if it ever existed in the first place. 
Now, I got all this information from the Lost Media Wiki, and I only showed you through a few of the Lost Virtual Boy games. There are many more Lost games to look through, so I'll post the link to this Lost Media Wiki page if any of you are interested in looking through some more games yourself. Garfield, the lazy fat orange cat created by Jim Davis was going to have a movie length special that would have aired during the late 1980s or early 1990s. This animated movie would be titled Garfield's Judgment Day and was sadly cancelled before it could ever see the light of day. Jim Davis was working on making this special one of the best Garfield specials. By including many more darker and serious themes previous specials have not seen before. The special would involve his hometown being destroyed by a vicious tornado. Disney was surprisingly the studio working on this movie. All of the voice acting and songs for this special had been complete, with some of the video of the recordings existing. Our first full-length feature film will be called Garfield's Judgment Day. One of the songs from the movie is about how easy cats and dogs have it. The great Lou Rawls has been featured in all our television specials. Here he joins Desiree to record that song for the movie. No bids to make. No bills to pay. Yeah, every day's a holiday. 15 minutes worth of animation was also complete and finished. However, before any more work could be put into the movie, Disney had cancelled the special after feeling that the subject matter was way too depressing and dark for a fun, happy Garfield cartoon. Jim Davis did try to script the special another two more times, however was disappointed to find out the studio showed no interest both times. The story would eventually be turned into a Garfield picture book in July 1990 having the same name. No other footage of the animated film has been seen anywhere leaving this film only partially found. <laughs> 